So mm-hmm. banning all online sales whatsoever of firearms, a- ammunition, accessories, making you criminally civilly liable for having a firearm in the house if a child happens to be present at any point, even if they don't actually gain possession of the firearm. Assault weapons ban, which isn't defined, and then a buyback, which we don't know whether it's mandatory, but he will appoint Beto O'Rourke as gun czar, who said that he will yeah. kick down your door and take away your AR-15. Said so adamantly. Hell yes! <laughs> Joe Biden will ban any and all online firearm, ammunition, or accessory sales. Meaning under a Joe Biden administration, according to his own website, you can't buy a grip, a trigger spring, a holster, depending on how you define accessories. Let me read right here. Biden's plan would, quote from his website, end the online sale of firearms and ammunition. Biden will enact legislation to prohibit all online sales of firearms, ammunition, kits, and gun parts. Wow. Did you know that? I didn't. And when you said, I literally didn't believe you. And I was like, no, there's no, there's, I, I, this is such a ridiculous proposition, particularly if you're trying to get these states that are currently the swing states. Right. Um, particularly yeah. also, by the way, if you're trying to look at making something safer where you can regulate it, online sales, there's a record. Exactly. <laughs> there's yeah. a record. There's yeah, no exactly. way to buy it out of the back of a yeah, trunk. Right. Again, people who sell their firearms on website, the main websites. Now, if you can go on the dark web and commit a crime, that's not a loophole. You're a criminal. It's a crime. <laughs> I don't think exactly. that there's a blood slash crip initiation loophole. You had to steal a Gran Torino and shoot an 85-year-old. That's not a loophole. You're just a felon. You know what else is a gun accessory? A gun lock. A gun safe. Right. You know, oh, you want to make sure you're cleaning your gun. You want to make sure that you're keeping it safe. All of those things would fall under that. Now, maybe he's going to come and go, well, I didn't mean those kinds of accessories but that's the kind of lack of clarity but at the high end he's clearly wanting to make sure that we're going to limit the access to a thing that enables us to exercise our second amendment let me ask this jen who knew this before i I decided last night we're going to talk about this did anyone here show of hands know that biden will end all online sales of guns ammo parts kits accessories uh little frilly things (laughs) did anyone here know this until i just told you it's on his website. Ban all online sales. Crazy, we all know right. about the assault weapons ban, right? What he wants right, to bring yeah. back. It's and radical, that doesn't really, really define assault weapon and anything over 10 rounds and a magazine. And all. So he wants to do all that too. But these are the things that are uh, incredibly radical. Here's another one, because since you just talked about safes, uh, he wants to be uh, able to charge adults for minors accessing guns. And I know what you're saying. It's like if an adult, and it's already a crime, if an adult gives a minor a firearm that they don't have, they don't have the legal authority to possess, mm-hmm. that's sure. a crime. Sure. Okay. That's not what the law is. Let me again ah. read from the website. Hold adults accountable for giving minors access to firearms. Biden supports legislation holding adults criminally and civilly liable uh, for directly or negligently giving a minor access to a firearm, regardless of whether the minor actually gains possession <laughs> of the firearm. <laughs> what? So like if a gun's up on a shelf in a house. The, the, can you tell can, me how that reads? Yeah. That's how it reads to me. Like if you don't wow. have, in other words, you could be criminally and civilly liable if you have a nightstand gun safe that if you have a nightstand gun that isn't in a safe even if the kid never accesses it never yeah. uses it doesn't know that it's there because it says very clearly holding adults criminally and civilly liable for directly or negligently giving a minor access to a firearm whether the minor or not actually gains possession of the firearm can you explain that legally i'm a little a little murky i mean it's 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 a direct attack on anyone who has a firearm in the house yeah, it is absolutely. if it's in the house and not locked down with the nuclear codes it's a crime so so get this let's say your master bedroom's on the second floor of your house your nephew comes over you're playing in the front yard your sister and nephew go in and go to the bathroom on the first floor they're in the house the gun yeah. is on a second floor lo- it maybe not even locked right maybe it's behind the bed stand or up on a shelf or something like that you're single you don't have kids the kid's not even on the floor not even in the same room nowhere near the gun that might possibly fall under it. And here's yeah. the point. Maybe after four years of litigation and two years of appeals, you'll win that case. But you're bankrupt. You've already lost it. Yep. And the reason is because Biden has created a law that allows people to sue you for something that is currently not even being asked for. And yeah. we've seen this all the time. Now. We've seen neighbors turning on neighbors, brother against yeah. brother. Yeah. You know, something about end times. I believe the Bible says something about this somewhere in the back. <laughs> something in there. <laughs> you can have a neighbor who doesn't like go, oh, I know that family has guns over there in the yeah. house. And then they go, yeah, 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 go over there on a play date. And then they bust it and go, hey, hey, play Police officers, uh, my neighbor has kids there, and I think there are guns that aren't locked in that exact scenario. And guess what? All of a sudden, the Biden Gestapo come in and say, oh, well, listen, we're going to have to write you up, just like they do now, uh, if you happen to have a business in New York where you're doing takeout only, but your front door is open. We'll talk about that tomorrow. The problem with authoritarianism isn't just that this is that these are rules are coming from the top. It's the people who will enforce it. Yeah. And the people who will enforce trying to use the system to take away your rights. And the Second Amendment is a huge one. So we've gone through banning all online sales, right. banning having firearms and kids in a house 
period, effectively, making it illegal. And now he says on his website, he'll close the hate crime loophole by, quote, bring us up to cute Maddie, legislation pro prohibiting an individual who has been convicted of a misdemeanor hate crime or received an enhanced sentence for a misdemeanor because of hate or bias in its commission from purchasing or possessing a firearm. This is what's important. Mm. What's a misdemeanor hate wow. crime? We need to define this, yeah. right? Because people are thinking like, you're going out there and you're shooting up a black church. No, that's actually no. a felony. And the primary right. issue with that is not so much that you hate people, it's that you tried to kill people. Yes, yes, that's true. <laughs> um, Already really bad. What do you have to say to be charged with a, a misdemeanor hate crime? Just say naughty words. No, oh, are you exaggerating? Nope, we have cases of this. We've talked about it before. Uh, students at the University of Connecticut, remember they were playing a game where they yelled increasingly offensive words back yep. and forth. We used to play yeah. this in high school. People, It was the penis game when I was in right, high school. Yeah. Remember that? We'd say penis, penis, penis. penis. And you, you know, you'd, you'd have to go loud. Class. Yeah. Apparently they were playing a game where it's like saying racial slurs. Now, irresponsible? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. But they're 13. I know you think they're responsible enough to smoke a joint and change their sex, but I don't think they're necessarily responsible <laughs> yeah. to be held accountable because their synapses right. haven't formed. It doesn't mean they're racist. It means they play stupid games. Well, guess what? These kids were charged with a misdemeanor hate crime for playing a game. Uh, hmm. Then we also have uh, people recently who've been charged with misdemeanor hate crimes simply when Black Lives Matter protesters attack their vehicle and they continue driving. So this is this comes down to your understanding of the Second Amendment and fundamental rights. Do you forego your rights because you said a bad word? Do you forfeit your rights? Now, I think you forfeit yeah. your rights when you rape somebody and murder right. somebody. Yeah. I think you forfeit certain rights because you decided to infringe on other people's rights. But if you defend yourself, if you're driving down a street and someone throws himself on your car like the lady in Happy Gilmore, Get me out of here! <laughs> you keep driving. Should you lose your right to protect your wife and kids? Well, this is the policy from Joe Biden. Hate crime, th that, explain to people that hate crime misdemeanors, that is such a low bar. Well, it's, al it's already a low bar, but it's already a ridiculous bar. The, I mean, the simple fact that we're dehumanizing certain types of crime because it wasn't ha hate motivated, because by giving it additional factor, an increasing factor on something that is hate motivated, whether it's a misdemeanor or a felony, and the misdemeanor part's a whole different bad part. But the underlying concept of a hate crime is that there are worse murders than regular murder. Right. right? And it's not just premeditated. Yeah. But premeditated hate murder should be even worse. We kill you twice. We kill your kids. I don't know what the answer yeah, is, yeah. but but it's it's it, it doesn't make any sense, and it is further divides. America. It further divides our citizens. Well, you know what? Do you think that they even know they have this on their website anymore? Like, they've denied stuff being on their website before, like, like the, the Green, Green New, New Deal, Deal stuff, and it's like, oh, crap, it's yeah. still there. Do you think they, this was, like, out there before the Black Lives Matter protest? Why? This should be a question of the debate. Hey, yeah. Joe yeah. Biden. Uh, you're running uh, right now for president of the United States, and important states are the uh, Midwestern states where yeah. hunting is actually more common than anywhere else in the country, particularly states like Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Your website says that you would ban all firearm uh, sales, accessories, ammunition, kits, parts online, as well as criminalizing people owning guns with children present if they aren't locked up in a safe. Uh, what do you think that will, what kind of an effect do you think that will have in uh, your election uh, likelihood in the swing states? Huh? Listen, that's right up your alley asking that kind of a question. <laughs> yes, it is, because I'm a fair moderator. What? Who? How is he here? <laughs> <laughs> so unfair to quote me to me, okay? Here's another thing. A lot of people have talked about the ban on assault weapons, and we've done this before. We've talked about it, the ins and outs. It's a, yeah. it's, it's a fake thing, right? The idea of assault weapons. There's a difference between an assault weapon and an assault rifle, which is something that has burst fire in the military. So assault weapon is a made-up term. Look, this is legal. This is illegal. It's just a pistol grip. That's all that changes it. It's yeah. What kind of aesthetics? It's a it's a backdoor gun grab, and it was wildly unpopular. Now, uh, Biden is very open about the fact that he would ban all undefined assault weapons. Here you go. So to, to, to gun owners out there who say, well, a Biden administration means they're going to come for my guns. Bingo. You're right if you have an assault <laughs> weapon. Oh. The fact of the matter is they should be illegal, period. To be clear, he thought he was actually playing bingo. Oh. <laughs> bingo. Got it right here. B yeah, for like bingo. Sorry, Ooh. we're still doing the interview. Huh? <laughs> Are we playing 7-Up? Huh, thumb up, okay. Uh, was it uh, uh, Stenophanopoulos? He's not here, sir. Okay. 7-Up! <laughs> <laughs> you guys play 7-Up as a kid? So, uh, there's him saying he's going to ban all right. assault weapons. And he didn't and equivocate. He no, he didn't very equivocate. Very clear. Yeah. And he Bingo. mentioned the buyback. Uh, he talks about the buyback program quite a bit, too. It says it, it talks about it on his website, a gun buyback. Now, here's yeah. what's so concerning. We've talked about Australia and the gun buyback. That was a mandatory buyback. And considering how specific Joe Biden is on banning all firearm sales and ammunitions online and making you criminally liable and yeah. civilly liable, even mm -hmm. if there is actually no child who reaches
is a firearm in your house whatsoever. The, the, the vagueness here is concerning because it just mentions buyback. Well, all examples we have of buybacks have by and large been mandatory. So here is, well, would it be mandatory? I don't know because he doesn't specify, right. but he did say that his gun, his gun czar was going to be Francis O'Rourke, who you may know him as uh, Beto. How are you going to take away weapons from people who do not want to give them up and you don't know where they are? If That's someone does not turn in an AR-15 or an AK-47, one of these weapons of war, or, or brings it out in public and, and brandishes it in an attempt to intimidate, as we saw when we were at Kent State uh, recently, then that weapon will be taken from them. Uh, if they persist, there will be other consequences well, from he's not law enforcement. For president, so I'm going to guarantee this you this is not the last year seen of this guy. You're going to take care of the gun problem with me. You're going to be the one that leads this effort. Son of a bitch! Oh, oh no. there, oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> So there yeah, you Beto <laughs> saying it's going to be a mandatory buyback between kickflips, and then <laughs> so Joe cool. Biden saying he's he going to be my gun czar, and his website says there's going to be a buyback. So mm -hmm. banning all online sales whatsoever of firearms, ammunition, accessories, making you criminally civilly liable for having a firearm in the house if a child happens to be present at any point, even if they don't actually gain possession of the firearm, assault weapons ban, which isn't defined, and then a buyback, which we don't know whether it's mandatory, but he will appoint Beto O'Rourke as gun czar, who said that he will yeah. kick down your door and take away your AR-15 sets so adamantly hell yes so i wonder why where per capita we have some of the most gun owners in the country like michigan wisconsin pennsylvania the media has not questioned joseph biden at all about his own firearm policies on his own website you tell me why you think that is this has been shooting the sh with biden fired two blasts outside the house he shoot him in the leg he shoot him in the leg and what I love is the left never gets it right. Like AR-14s, and it was uh, Chank Weger said, like AR-13. Uh, they're just going uh, down. Just going to keep going. Yeah. Down. Just, it's the number scarier if it's 13. They're, they're eventually <laughs> going to get it right because they'll get to the yeah. AR-10, which is fine. That's a whole different platform.